Unlocking the pumpkin mask, you have to collect 10 jack-o'-lanterns in a single day of playing GTA Online. And the pumpkin t-shirt, by far one of the rarest things in GTA Online that you could still unlock. You have to collect all 200 pumpkins in a single day. So this is a quick guide on how to get both of these very easy. And the biggest help by far is gtaweb.eu. Again, I feature this in almost every video I make, but it is a banger website, 100% a must visit. If you like collecting items, doing all these rare events, limit time events like I do. So check out the comments in the description to for the link, just click straight on the link and you will be brought straight to this website. So let's start off with the basic details of the pumpkin event because this is the, by far the biggest thing going on this week. So there are 200 pumpkins around the map, same as the last two years, so all the same locations. And by the way, if you did do these the last two years, you will still have unlocked. That is how I have it unlocked right now, is that I already did this two years ago. So if you already did it, you still have the pumpkin and the pumpkin shirt, obviously like I do in the gameplay clip right here. But if not, this video is for you. So 200 pumpkins around the map, and they do spawn all throughout the day, day and night. And collecting these, it does. you can do it any time of day. You could log off, get back on, and still continue where you left off. So one real life day you have to collect all 200 for the t-shirt so when you go up to a pumpkin you will either get a treat or a trick so spoiler alert ahead skip this part if you don't want the spoilers <laughs> but it's just a little trick or treat very fun stuff rockstar ed so the treats are halloween themed between 2500 and 5000 dollars gta cash and 1000 rp health and armor snacks or a peyote plant that turns you into a random animal. That's probably the biggest thing that I just want to get and mess around with players with, but there is a two minute timer on the peyote plants. Or the tricks are a shock, stoned, explosion, which causes you to die, which just messes up the whole thing that is very annoying. So you can't do this in passive mode. So if you don't want to die, go in passive mode. Or an energy pulse, which is basically another shock. So all the locations, so I have a uh, 10 locations right here in the gameplay I'm showing you guys. I'm not going to show you guys all 200 because that will take forever, but here is the map of all 200. You could zoom in on this map and find exactly where it is at. Let's zoom into this one right here. And you see a picture of it that goes along with it. And the best thing about this website, you could cross it off and there you go. It's almost hidden basically. So this is by far the best way to keep track of it. Or you could just take the screenshot on your phone and cross it off. But when you do get near a pumpkin, you will hear some creepy sound effects and your controller will start to vibrate. So if you're not using these pictures, you will still get a good idea of where these pumpkins are actually at. So make sure you have vibration turned on, make sure you're wearing headphones and you will basically get these pretty easily. Now it honestly took me about an hour, an hour and a half to get all 200. Mostly because you have to get off at some weird spots and take a tiny walk, maybe up a, up a few steps, up to a doorway. So uh, s make sure to have about two hours a day to get this done. Again, you can log off and then get back on and continue where you left off. But that can be buggy. I think one time I did that, it did reset. But then the next time I logged off and logged back on, I continued where I was. So it can be a little bit buggy. So I recommend just doing this all at one time so prepare yourself about two hours at most depending on what kind of player you are what what, what, what vehicles you're using again a Prozo mark ii probably the best vehicle to use for this well really you could use any vehicle i used a bike so just prepare enough time and you should get this really easy now though rewards once again to collecting 10 jack-o-lanterns in a single day real life day you get the pumpkin horror mask and that bonus $50,000, so that's pretty nice too. That only takes just about 5 minutes if you're going in a city. Really 5 minutes for that $50,000 and the horror pumpkin mask. That's a must do. Another 200. I don't know how many people are going to do this. But this is the third year and maybe even the last year that you could do this if GTA 6 doesn't get delayed. So if you do want this outfit, this year is the year to do it. So collecting 200, the pumpkin t-shirt gets unlocked and another $50,000. Now to find the t-shirt, you have to go into your closet in your apartment. You already have unlocked once you complete all 200. Go down to trick or treat 
and go down to pumpkin tea and that is the t-shirt you have unlocked. And same thing for the mask. And same thing for a pumpkin mask. Go to clothing, masks, and then monsters and then the name is horror pumpkin in the monsters category. So that's how you unlock the pumpkin shirt. Probably one of the most rare is just because it takes so long to do 200 of these. Most people probably don't want to do it so you won't see this around a lot actually. It's pretty rare for how easy it sounds but you just need to put two hours at most to go around collecting all of these. And that's your quick guide of this new Halloween collectibles that are out this week starting today or tomorrow depending on when I update this. So if you got this far into the video, probably you liked it, so leave a like and subscribe to see what video I make next.